In this video, I'm going to calculate a correlation in SPSS, and it's going to be found to be non-significant statistically. And the data are based on the clinical experience among psychotherapists and the amount of improvement experienced by their clients. And in the textbook, the correlation is not found to be statistically significant. And I just want to show you an example of a quote-unquote real-world correlation that isn't statistically significant. So click on Analyze, Correlate, Bivariate, and Experience and Improvement go into the Variables box and click OK. And here's the correlation I reported in the textbook. It's a correlation of 0.118 between years of experience and degree of improvement amongst clients who are seeing a psychotherapist. And the p-value is 0.467. And this is based on a sample size of 40. So because the p-value is not less than 0.05, we cannot reject the null hypothesis that there is no association between experience and improvement. So to state that again, the null hypothesis states that there is no association between experience and improvement. Researchers typically want to see evidence that disconfirms or rejects the null hypothesis. And in this case, it cannot be rejected because it's not found to be statistically significant. Now, as I carry on in the textbook, I discuss the issue of power, statistical power, which is a very important property. And it helps us determine how we should frame this non-significant effect in the broader context of research and the chances of actually rejecting the null hypothesis.